who's going to give a presentation next. Yes, speaking. Uh, uh, okay, Can you hear me? Good. Yes, have you a video or a screen share? Okay, thank you. Can you see the video, the, yeah. my screen? Yes. So, hello, this is Antonio De Simone from Italy, and I would like to share with you um, some of our most recent results on uh, the biophysics of euglena motility, in particular swimming, metaboly, and some perspectives. So we have studied swimming uh, by combining optical microscopy with a high-speed camera together with a mathematical model of the swimming motion. In this way, we have managed to lift the two-dimensional observations of optical microscopy to a full three-dimensional reconstruction of the flagellar shapes during the month and of the trajectories, uh, which are helical. In green, you see the trajectory followed by the center of the body, and in red, the trajectory of the, high sp of the eye spot. And uh, as it was as well known, the motion is accompanied by rotations uh, of the body, and this leads to the possibility of shading the uh, photoreceptor which is by the eye spot uh, from a lateral source of light, which was recognized by Dean as a possible mechanism for phototactic uh, navigation. Moving to metaboly, uh, we know that metaboly is, uh, consists of the larger changes of body shape that are made possible by the pellicle structure of the oglena, which is made of strips that can slide one on the other at the common edge. So in, the, uh, in this uh, common edge between two adjacent strips, there are uh, microtubules and uh, there are molecular motors that uh, walk along microtubules and push the strips so that they can slide one relative to the neighboring one, producing shears that are in turn responsible for shape changes as recognized, for example, by Suzaki and Williamson. We can visualize this sliding by using confinement to trigger metaboly. So we visualize the sliding of strips by placing euglena in the narrow gap between two parallel plates. And then we can study the effect of confinement quantitatively by driving euglena into tapered capillaries where euglena manages to move effectively by crawling thanks to peristaltic-like uh, uh, waves that span the whole body. And in this way, euglena manages to adjust easily to increasing levels of confinement. We have studied this phenomenon quantitatively by using a mathematical uh, model of the mechanics of the active pellicle. And our main conclusion from this model is that adaptation to increasing levels of confinement can be explained uh, simply with the elastic properties of the pellicle without changing the activation patterns that you see here, the activation patterns of the motor. So we keep those constant and we observe the, the synthetic organism uh, adjust to confinement. So in other words, adaptation to increasing levels of confinement does not require any specific mechanism of mechanosensitive feedback. And this brings me to the outlook so I, I, I hope I've convinced you that uh, what Dean said in 1973, that is uh, that Euglena is an interesting model system to study mechanisms of sensing and response is still true now. And we know much more about the system now than then, which makes uh, uh, the, the goal uh, even more interesting now than it was then. For example, we know that activation is due to the action of individual distributed molecular motors, and that coordination is achieved uh, by distributed control, which means by the delicate balance between flexibility and rigidity of the structure against which the motors push, just like uh, uh, for rowers in an ancient Roman ship. Much more needs to be discovered when uh, the details of the mechanism, these mechanisms are uh, brought into the uh, fore, and I would be very interested in discussing uh, with you uh, and to know more from you about what is, the currently, what is currently known on the biochemomechanical uh, mechanisms uh, that uh, explains sensing and response in Euglena, our favorite unicellular organism. With this, let me close by acknowledging my collaborators, the source of funding, 
and you for your kind attention. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Antonio. And um, so I'm, I'm, I don't have any, um, there is some questions in the chat. I'm going to ask if Antonio, could you respond uh, in the chat because we're kind of running a little